Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the Takara Tomy exclusive Transformers Siege Voyager Class Nemesis Prime. This figure is essentially just a direct repaint from the original Voyager Class Optimus Prime that we got as part of the Siege toy line. However, of course, this time it is redecoed in a really nice Nemesis Prime paint scheme with a metallic turquoise green as well as a really nice black paint application. In terms of accessories, we do get the same Ion Blaster that we got with the previous version of Optimus. However, this time we do get this Dark Energon-esque sword, which I believe the packaging refers it as the ancient sword but personally for me it sounds a lot cooler if you call it a name such as the dark energon sword or perhaps we'll just call it the nemesis prime sword but as far as i'm concerned i'm pretty sure that this is just a re-release to a really cool sword that came out with the voyager class alpha trion a few years back that this is the exact same sword that we got with that figure so none of the pieces in this set are brand new they are all just re-releases as far as i know the sword may be new but i'm pretty sure it does carry over from a previous figure. Taking a look at the Nemesis Prime himself, personally for me, this was an impulse buy. I had really and truly no intentions of picking this up whatsoever. However, I saw some awesome photography online of this and I thought I just have to have a really cool Nemesis Prime in my collection. As as far as I'm concerned, I don't believe I have any form of Nemesis Prime in this color scheme. I have some of the movie versions that came out for the Transformers The Last Night movie, but none definitely not done in this color scheme. So I just thought the Siege mold is fantastic. With the Earthrise Optimus Prime, it'd be great to get the Siege mold in my collection in some way, shape or form as I've now put all of my Siege Optimus Primes into storage and keep this one out on display as a whole new character, that being the Nemesis Prime. And I do not think that the color variation disappoints at all. Taking a look at some of those paint applications, you can see that the metallic green, it's almost an aquamarine green, looks superb, very reflective, and all of the wheels have been painted super nicely. We've also got some nice reflectiveness to the paint apps here on the side windows. As we turn our attention to the front of the truck, we've also got some of that transparent clear red plastic with some of that superb detailing. We've also got some amazing transparent green plastic here. I think that this looks tremendous with all of the sculpt work as well as some of the sculpt works at the top. I think these sections here, which I believe would be the headlights, although to me they look more like little vents, they have been painted superbly. Just a really nice looking figure. We've got some Decepticon insignias on one side, whereas the other side is just blank. Some silver paint apps. So super cool rendition of the Nemesis Prime. However, of course, the mode that you're probably all most looking forward to is the robot mode. So let's get him fully transformed up into that awesome Nemesis Prime robot mode. And here we have the Nemesis Prime fully transformed up into his robot mode. And now you can see straight away that this is simply just a direct repaint to that original Siege version. I would have perhaps have liked if they could have given us an alternate head sculpt, similarly to what they did with the Power of the Prime's leader class Nemesis Prime. I thought that that was quite a good reuse of the mold and gave us some new additional components. Whereas this one is just a direct repaint with, I believe, a reused sword. But nevertheless, it looks absolutely fantastic. Turning it all the way around, you can see that the majority of the figure has been cast in this very nice black plastic. It almost has a rather reflective tint to it as well. And that same metallic green really does help to set it apart from the rest of the black sculpt. I have got to say that I think that the dark blade or the Energon sword looks really nice with the purple transparent plastic that they've used here. And you can also see a glossy black used for the handle. And all of these different spikes here have also been picked out in that same paint. As we turn around, we do have a port. So technically you could remove this and have this peg onto Optimus's back, or should I say Nemesis's back. And that definitely could create for quite a nice display option, just straightening the figure all up. Personally, for me, I just think that the new paint deco really complements this new version of Nemesis Prime with the green metallic paint here for the headlights, as well as on the crest with the very piercing red eyes, the silver mouthpiece, and unlike the Earthrise Optimus Prime, they have indeed painted around the eyes just to differentiate them from the sculpt. I do like all the silver paint apps here for the grill, as well as the green paint around the striped area of the truck. The Decepticon insignia there looking super cool. The silver smokestacks. And then as we turn down to the crutch plate, we've also got all these metallic green painted areas. And then as we turn our attention down to the fires, these have just been cast in the same gray plastic. 
with the lower half done in the black and the green picking out some of the sharper details of the sculpt. There really isn't much in terms of paint application on this figure. It is mainly just sculpted black plastic, but I think that that definitely benefits it as where the green paint apps have been placed, they definitely do stick out and they highlight all of the essential details that you would want to make apparent on this particular release. So For a very quick Optimus Prime comparison, here we have the new Nemesis Prime compared next to the Siege 35th Anniversary Optimus. I don't have the original Siege Optimus in hand right now, but you can definitely see that the new Nemesis colours are a stark difference from what we got with the original version and it definitely does give a more darker motif and a more darker vibe to the Nemesis Prime and just makes him slightly more intimidating and imposing. He definitely does look very formidable when posed next to the rather vibrant, rather friendly looking Optimus Prime and I think that these two pair fantastically and you really have to have these two side by side, the Nemesis Prime and the Optimus Prime, polar opposites of one another yet very, very similar in terms of their design and their skill set. I really do like the Nemesis Prime and think that it's a great addition to the Siege Optimus Prime mold lineup. So that just about wraps up this review. This was merely just a showcase of the Nemesis Prime in his new colour scheme. There isn't really much more else for me to say. Articulation for this figure is mandatory for the Siege Voyager Prime. So ball joint at the head, which can look up and down. Full 360 rotation at the arms and they can also hinge out to the sides. This flap also accommodates that. Full 360 rotation at the bicep, as well as 90 degree bend at the elbow. Full 360 wrists, full 360 waist joint. Legs kick forwards and back, as well as out to the sides. Swivel at the thigh, and then a full 360 rotation at the knee over 90 degree bend at the knee and then finally we do get the ankle rocker joint so a superb figure that has been re-released with an even better paint scheme in my opinion than the original version i'm thoroughly impressed with this and i'm so glad that i did pick it up although i have got to say that it definitely did cost a lot more than i was expecting it to this range is roughly between 55 to 60 pounds which is almost double that of a normal voyager and i'm not entirely sure whether or not it's worth it considering that this is simply just a repaint and although you do get the additional sword, I do believe that this is just a repack from the Alpha Trion figure. So I guess it really just depends on what type of a collector you are and whether or not you want to collect all of the Optimus Prime slash Nemesis Prime molds. And if you are a completionist, then you're definitely going to want to pick this figure up. I personally really like it and I'm glad that I added it to the collection. My impulse buy definitely paid off. So that just about wraps up my review for the Transformers to Karatomi Voyager Class Nemesis Prime. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.